Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Tuesday, August 11th, 2009. Well, folks, we are seeing another down day on Wall Street. This one decent. It's not a horrible down day by any stretch. In fact, the Dow is down about 93 points right now. NASDAQ down about 26 points. And the S&P 500 down about 13. So you're talking about one and a quarter percent across the board. Dow down slightly less percentage-wise, basically 1%. Now, the bottom line is this, folks. We had some continual profit-taking in this market. People are now getting a little bit nervous about the Federal Reserve's policy statement tomorrow at 2.15 p.m. Eastern Time. We had a bond off auction that just got finished and we just got the results on that. It was not a bad bond auction by any stretch, but it's only the three year. The three year really doesn't make any any issue. It's the 10 year, the 30 year that you're really going to be watching over the next two days. The 10 year being tomorrow at 1 p.m. we'll get the results. And then on Thursday, you have the 30 year on one at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Now that's really going to be the big one to watch. In addition, tomorrow, as I mentioned, the Federal Reserve will release their policy statement. And that's really what you want to be following going into tomorrow. Now, having said that, folks, you can see a second down day possible on Wall Street here today as the NASDAQ and Dow remain nicely lower with the S&P 500. But bottom line is this. What you're seeing here is, without a doubt, a pivot that we had called for on Friday, folks. We had a pivot period Wednesday to Friday where we should have made the high in the market in the near term and then ex expect a pullback off of that. That's what went out to our premium subscribers, and I'm going to show you exactly what happened. On Friday, we had that monster move up. You had your pivot high put in right here. And then we sold off and closed lower into the close. That was the last day to make that pivot high, and it looks like it was exactly dead on. Sure enough, the market sold off on Friday, sold off here on Monday a little bit, even though it rallied into the close. We still closed down on the day. And then today, seeing some continued downside here in the markets with the Dow now down 95 points. So you're continuing to see that perfectly pivot pivot point nailed on the charts and you can see it right up here and again these lines these levels are cycle analysis levels here we're doing cycle work again many many calculations getting these levels and they'll continue to be dead on here uh, 90 percent success rate really on calling the tops and bottoms in this market there's always going to be one outlier here and there but for the most part continue to be dead on you can see if you went short at that high on Friday you're now up about two and a half dollars or so on the SPY on the short call there and again uh, just to give a heads up for those of you out there that are in the research center that watch these videos as well I did unload my SRS which is uh, a small portion of the SRS there from the entry at eleven dollars a few days ago at twelve dollars and thirty cents today and taking some of that off the table alright so just give you guys a heads up another little profitable trade there as we've been looking for this market to pull back. Now the pullback is in full swing, beautifully done here. As we continue to see, you can see the SRS having a big day. That's two times short real estate. Uh, other ETFs on the short side having a good day. Financials today are really doing poorly. JP Morgan getting hit to the downside, and that's even on a nice bounce, still down $1.22. Bank of America fell out of bed early. Look at this collapse on Bank of America. You're now trading near the lows of the day on Bank of America. That is a nice fall as well. But that's the bottom line, folks. You're seeing oil down on the day, although getting a little bit of a rise here nice drop on oil again very very overbought levels on oil as you can see the dollar has also helped as well keep oil in check with a beautiful move now we nailed that dollar call as well and the reason why you knew that dollar was gonna make a move and I'm just gonna point out to you on the charts here let's go take a look at the UUP the reason you knew the dollar was gonna make a move to the upside and I'll show you the 60 minute look at this move on the dollar to the upside monstrous move up was because this $23 level on the UUP, which is the dollar index, was at major, major support. If you go on your daily or weekly chart, you can see it clear as a bell. Now, bottom line is, there's a second caveat to that. The second caveat was that in last week when we were making new lows on the dollar for the year, you knew that there was a bond auction, three bond auctions this week, and they had to prop up the dollar going into that. You have to know this stuff, guys. This is why the Research Center is so important to have, is because these little facets about understanding that the Fed and the government is going to try to prop up the dollar into these bond bond auctions to get people to actually buy them is going to be important to know. So sure enough, going into mid last week when the dollar was at the twenty three dollar level on the UUP, we went to a bullish stance, and part of it was the charts. The other part of it was just knowing how the Federal Reserve operates. You got to look at the bigger picture here. It's not just as simple as just saying, "Well, that's a pivot point on the chart." You have to put all the pieces of the puzzle together. So that's another thing to watch. Again, gold has had a nice drop off that big move on the dollar, although gold getting a little bit of a bounce today. 
Still down about 15 cents on the UUP, but off the lows, no doubt about it. Now, going back to the SPY, guys, I want to focus on the intraday here. These are your levels you need to watch. First of all, this was called out. Multiple trades called out in the chat room today. Number one was a bounce off the 99.80 level, 99.75 level. That was a nice little bounce as well. Then you came down to this 90-40 level to 90-50 level. That was a great bounce call as well. Look at the 90-40 level right here tagged. We moved all the way up to about 90-80 for a total of 40 cents off that move. Then we retraced back down. And just notice how these key lines, these lines are the big ones in the charts right now that you need to be paying attention to. 90-80 is a key one. 90-75 to 90-80. Below that, you have a very good support here at 90-40 to 90-50. We're hovering right on top of that. Notice here, you hit it, bounced. Hit it, bounced. Now you're coming back down to it. We'll see if we bounce off of it again. This level at 90, 40 to 90, 50 is unbelievably important for this market. If we break this level, then you're looking at another move down to the next key level as said in the Research Center video last night, which all of you that are, have the Research Center can obviously look at and analyze and be ready for that next level to play a play off of. Now again, in these videos, folks, that are free, I make sure to only do the intraday analysis because that's more pertinent to the, what's going on now and it doesn't give too much information away. The reason why I don't go into the daily analysis like I do in the nightly videos in the Research Center is because that's purely for our premium guys. Premium guys in the research center are more swing traders, more longer term guys, and the day traders obviously in the chat room, they're getting this play by play live throughout the day, so it's not such a big deal. And that's exactly why I don't go into the major levels, but we do the same type of calls on the daily chart, the weekly chart, the monthly chart for the longer term guys that are looking to swing their IRAs, 401ks, uh, investment accounts, and so forth. But nonetheless, support right here, guys. This, this again, this level has been on our charts for weeks now, and sure enough, coming right down, get a bounce. We scalped it in the chat room. Retest here, bounce, retest again, and you're getting a little bit of a bounce. On the upside, resistance is going to be right here at 99.80, 99.75. That will be good resistance there. If you get through that, you're going to make a push probably all the way to the 50 moving average uh, upwards of this low. See this low right here? Take that low, just stretch it right across. That's your next major level after you hit the 50 moving average right up here, and that level is at 100 spot 25 if we get up there. Now, we're still looking for changes in character. Remember, what we've talked about here, and I put it on the free video as well. If you go to the weekly analysis, the weekend analysis that I put out over the weekend, you can see there were cracks in the ice. I was harping on that, guys, and I gave you guys a dead indicator what direction we were looking by that weekend video analysis. Perfect calls there. As Friday, we saw that reversal. I showed you all the, the cracks in the ice that we've been talking about, lower lows, lower highs, etc., and sure enough, look at how the market responds. So dead call on the weekend analysis, giving you guys a heads up to watch for some downside here. That's exactly what we've gotten. Now, the big question is, where do we go from here? Do we see the Federal Reserve? Are we going to rally on their statement tomorrow? You know it's going to be a bullish statement. It doesn't necessarily mean we're going to go up on it, though. The question will be, again, what do they say exactly in their statement tomorrow on the Federal Reserve meeting and all that stuff? So watch that very closely tomorrow. Be ready. It's going to be some wild volume coming in at that point. Volume today has died out. It was good volume this morning on a sell-off. As we've gone sideways now in the mid to late afternoon, you're going to begin to see lighter volume. Volume could pick up around 2.30, 3 o'clock, all the way to the close as spot crude will close and so forth. But again, these are your levels to watch, folks. You can see them on your chart. Support right here at 99.40 to 99.50. Uh, 20 moving average is just minor resistance right here. Then you have good resistance at 99.80, 99.75, and then the 50 moving average wherever that is. And then this little line from the low yesterday will be the big level here. At, that's at 100 spot 25. 100 spot 25 on the SPY. Now on oil, watch oil. If oil continues lower today, now it's getting a little bit of a bid as the dollar has started to come in. And remember, it's it's inverse to the, to the dollar. If the dollar drops, oil generally goes up and vice versa. So right now you're seeing as the dollar came off the highs today, oil is getting a little bit of a bid. That generally will help the markets, but by no means is it a sure thing right now as these markets continue to be generally overbought. So just please be aware of that as well. These are all key things. On oil, if you're looking for resistance, if you pop here, that'll be good resistance. The pivot high right here at $37. Uh, again, that just so happens to be a major level that we talked about in the Research Center to our premium guys as well. If you get through that, then you're going to look through the highs of the day right here, and then ultimately this point up here. And I'm just doing charting live for you guys to give you guys an idea about what we do. These are your levels on oil to watch into the remaining portion of the day. And again, you can see we're upticking. If we come into this level at little over 37, that's going to be resistance, then 50 moving average and highs of the day right up here at 37.30 to 37.40, and then ultimately up here at around 37.50 uh, or so. 
on the charts. All right, so watch those levels very closely. Let's just go back to the spiders. Look at the bounce. Oil's bouncing, right? I just pointed that out. Generally, the market will go with oil. That's just the way it works. The dollar is also very key to this. The dollar's down ticking. When dollar goes down, oil and commodities will uptick. Generally, the markets will uptick as well, all right? You got to understand these relationships. Come join the Research Center. We hope to have you with us. Really start to explore, get picks, get guidance, get education all inside that Research Center. We'll hope to see you soon. Take care, folks.